we have a baby that is RST, right sacrum transverse, with a trapped anterior arm. We are going to do the front to back maneuver. We insert our flat hands, reaching up as far as we can. Disimpact slightly, rotate 90 degrees so the baby faces sacrum posterior. With your bottom hand, sweep down the anterior arm, then rotate 180 degrees back to face you. You might have to sweep the second arm down, putting gentle counter pressure under the baby's bottom so you don't accidentally pull the baby down. Now the baby's head can be born. This baby is LST, left sacrum transverse, with a trapped anterior arm. For the front to back maneuver, we insert our flat hands as high up as we can go, disimpact, rotate 90 degrees so the baby faces the mother's pubic bone into direct sacrum posterior. With your bottom hand, sweep down the anterior arm, then rotate 180 degrees back where you came from. The baby's head can now be born. Sometimes the head is misaligned as you see here. You can reach in and line it back up to sacrum anterior if need be so that the smallest diameter of the head can come out. This baby is RST, right sacrum transverse, and obviously has some kind of shoulder or arm stuck keeping it from further rotating and descending. Sometimes you can easily palpate the posterior arm and bring it down, again putting gentle counter pressure under the baby's bottom so you avoid putting traction on the baby. Once the posterior arm is free, you can do the front to back maneuver with the shoulder grip. Grab the shoulders, turn 90 degrees to sacrum posterior. Sweep the baby's anterior arm down and then rotate 180 degrees back to face you, switching arms mid rotation if necessary. The baby can now be born. If the baby's head needs assistance, you can do a simple shoulder press. This baby is LST, left sacrum transverse, with a trapped anterior arm. We easily feel the posterior arm, and by putting counter pressure on the baby's bottom, we can sweep down the, the posterior arm and avoid putting traction on the baby. Now the posterior arm is free, so we can do the front to back maneuver with the shoulder grip. Reach in under the armpits and grab the shoulder girdles. Disimpact, rotate 90 degrees to sacrum posterior so the baby faces the mother's pubic bone. Sweep down the anterior arm with your bottom hand. Grab the shoulders again and rotate 180 degrees back the way you came from so the baby faces sacrum anterior. This baby is right sacrum transverse and is stuck in a side facing position we have decided to do the side to side maneuver. For this maneuver, grasp the shoulder girdles, disimpact, rotate 180 degrees across sacrum anterior all the way to the other side, and then 90 degrees back to face you. Do not sweep the arms between the two rotations. At this point, the baby's arms will both be in front of the face, ready to be born, and the head will follow shortly after. You can do a simple shoulder press if necessary. We are going to do a side to side maneuver on a baby facing left sacrum transverse. We grab the shoulder girdles, disimpact, rotate 180 degrees so that the baby goes all the way to the other side going through sacrum anterior. After the 180 degrees we rotate back 90 degrees so the baby faces sacrum anterior. Again, do not sweep arms between the two rotations, just do the two rotations one after another. The arms will usually release or can be released with arm sweeps and the head is ready to be born. We are going to do upright love set with the baby facing RST. The first step for love set is to grasp the baby's pelvic girdle. 
Next, you flex the baby laterally, following the direction of the sacral curve to pull the posterior shoulder low down into the sacrum. Once you've pulled the baby quite low by flexing laterally, put traction on the baby pulling straight towards you and rotate 180 degrees through sacrum anterior to the other side, which releases that first arm under the pubic arch. Next, repeat the same actions. Flex the baby laterally, following the direction of the sacral curve, to bring the next arm low down into the sacral area. Rotate 180 degrees, again going through sacrum anterior to the other side. This will release the second arm under the pubic arch. To finish this, you might need to rotate 90 degrees back to sacrum anterior, and then deliver the head. This is love set in an upright position with the baby in left sacrum transverse. First, you grasp the baby's pelvic girdle. Then you flex the baby laterally, bringing the posterior shoulder quite low down the sacrum. Follow the direction of the sacral curve as you flex laterally. Then, exerting traction straight towards yourself, rotate 180 degrees, going through sacrum anterior to the other side. This releases the first arm under the pubic arch. Repeat the same actions. Flex laterally to pull the second shoulder low down into the sacral area, following the curve of the sacrum. Rotate 180 degrees, exerting traction to bring the second shoulder under the pubic arch. To finish, help the baby come back into sacrum anterior, 90 degrees, and deliver the head. When doing a love set in a supine position, which is the way most of you probably learned it, you follow the same motions except you reverse everything so it's turned 180 degrees. So you still do lateral flexion following the sacral curve. So if the mother's upright, this is going down following the way the sacrum curves. If this is flipped 180 degrees, then essentially you'd be pulling up following the sacral curve. Either way, you're using the curve of the sacrum as your orientation point. So instead of thinking of pulling up or pulling down, think which way does the sacrum point? That tells you the direction of lateral flexion for the love set maneuver.